Right, yeah, I guess always disappointing to lose, but a pretty good game of cricket to finish the group stage. Yeah, I mean, I think we did really well to drag it back. You know, we'd have liked to have got probably another 15 more that we left out there with the finish we got with the bat. But, um, you know, I thought we put on a probably par, sort of just under par total. But um, obviously conditions got a little bit better, but I thought obviously it was great to take it all the way to the end, um, showed our resilience as well. And obviously a great performance from, from Dell, um, both bat ball and in the field. Um, good morning, trying to get him a bowl all the way through, but it was a nice opportunity today to give him that chance and, um, and he delivered. And I guess um, knowing that we'd already qualified with a home court final, a chance to have a look at, uh, at Delray's bowling, a chance to bat first, um, things like that. It was good to experiment, I guess. Yeah, we got a lot out of it today. I mean, always a close game. It's nice to get into those close games because we know come, come Friday, you know, it's likely to be a close game again. So it's nice to be in those pressure moments. It's good for the bowlers to be put under the pressure, as they've done, and have to defend the total. And I thought, as I said, you know, at one point it looked like they were going to walk it. To then put them under the pressure and get them to that last ball was a great effort. So it's been a great run out. Obviously, disappointing to lose as always, but um, look, we're in a good position, we're playing some good cricket, um, and we're going to have to play well come next Friday. And as the group stage as a, as a whole, just how pleased are you with how the team have performed over these 14 games? Oh, you only have to look at some of the teams that will miss out in this group, and you know, there's some seriously, seriously good teams. And I haven't seen all the league table yet, but um, you know, looking at it, there'll be some really disappointed teams, and everyone beats everyone, as we found obviously tonight against Gloucester. We beat them at Bristol, so no, I think the group's so tough to get out of, and for us to do that with the way we've done it coming today has been amazing. Um, and you know, that's why we've been getting the crowds as well to play some great cricket. Mention the crowds, another great one here on a Friday night at home. We'll have another Friday night, uh, Worcester in the quarter final. How excited are you about that? Oh, it's amazing to get Friday nights, I think it's perfect. It's probably what, as a club, we would have been delighted for. And it's massive for the club, you know. I speak to obviously Rob and Andrew a lot, and you know, it means a lot for a small club to get a home quarter final. It's obviously the financial gains here, but also for our fans to get to see us playing in these sort of comps. And but, you know, I grew up in getting into quarter finals and finals day was a regular thing, so it's been great after a long time of missing out the last two years we're getting into these quarterfinals and um, you know I'm really proud to lead the boys uh, to this point and, and hopefully we can get there to that quarter, uh, to that uh, finals day. A chance for uh, revenge after last year's final with Worcester next Friday. Yeah look they're at the top so I think whoever you play um, going into these quarterfinals you know it's on the day isn't it I think who knows who, who's going to make it but uh, yeah it's a, it's a great game to have they're a quality team they know what they're doing but uh, and so do we so I think it's going to be a great game for everyone to watch and let's hope we uh, we nip home and get the win. What will you be? Uh, what will you be telling the boys to do for with their week off before that game? What's What's the approach before? Uh before a game like that? Um, I think, look, it's nothing different. It's one thing that we've always tried to do. Me and Dizzy are both very relaxed with the guys. I think in T20 you have to be, you know. Obviously there's always lessons to learn. You, you look back on this game of things we could improve because you're always trying to improve, but the message really is just to keep playing with freedom. And I think, you know, when we lost those two early wickets today, both myself and Dell, there's no point dying in a hole. You've got to keep going and being aggressive. And, you know, it gave us a great chance. And it's said to guys, just keep playing with freedom. It's been brilliant for all this group stage and uh, let's hope it can keep going and, and get us that win. Congratulations Luke. Cheers, thanks.